hi this is money from bsc to nse.com and in this video I'm gonna uh, basic introduction about VWAP or volume weighted average price so uh, I think you know there might be an indicator like average traded price which is nothing but the average of all the trading price or the prices where the trading happened throughout the day now it's very similar to EMA only that EMA normally you pass on a parameter like 10 so if you're looking at a 5 minute candle this is a 10 minute candle so if you're looking at a 10 minute candle and passing a parameter as 10 so you'll calculate the EMA for the last 10 candles alone so it'll be a moving time frame as more and more candles get formed the last 10 candles will keep moving from left to the right now in cases of uh, average traded price or VWAP uh, let's say we're calculating for intraday from morning it'll it'll keep assimilating data throughout the day and VWAP will get recalculated throughout the day it'll take into account the um, uh, entire trading data that has happened throughout the day so uh, it's not like a moving time frame so in that uh, in that way it's slightly different from EMA and uh, at this point I'm not showing VWAP on the chart here this is a Zeroda chart so they don't have VWAP yet on the chart on Kite or even Pi at this point. Now basically what it does at the bottom you can see that the, this is the volumes that you can see here and uh, from left to right this is start of the day till end of the day from morning 9.30 to uh, evening 3.30 uh, p.m. So you can see here that the first opening hour there's a good amount of volume first 10 minutes and then the volume drops a bit and then towards 10 o'clock there's again a good volume and then you can see between uh, 10 o'clock to uh, almost 1 o'clock or until like noon time the volume is very very less so these candles will contribute very less towards the calculation of VWAP because there's very little volumes getting traded at these these le these price levels and these candles where the volumes are little bit more will contribute more towards the VWAP calculation Similarly towards the end of the day where the volume picks up again these will contribute heavily towards the calculation of VWAP. Now currently what I do is I have a bookmark of VWAP on uh, my browser so this is nothing but nseindia.com you can go to uh, equity, equity derivatives, hit nifty and uh, come to this page here NSE themselves they give VWAP uh, at any particular point of time uh, I don't think they give a chart for VWAP along with the uh, futures price and remember that VWAP uh, for calculation of VWAP you need volume along with the price so uh, since nifty the spot value or the equity value there's no trading happening there won't be any volume data so VWAP is only for futures in nifty and it will have for futures in uh, for the other stocks as well and equity stocks do have volume so they'll also have VWAP and basically how we use it is if you can see here the end of the day VWAP is 8782 and throughout the day Nifty uh, was constantly below the VWAP levels and I think uh, only this period when uh, Nifty you know was spending some amount of time about uh, you know after like one o'clock to two o'clock here uh, at this point VWAP was around 8780 and it was kind of constantly trading above this VWAP and again once it finally cracked below it it cracked uh, quickly below it so for traders especially early in the morning what I do is I combine it with the 100 point theory so uh, I look at if there's an opportunity based on the 100 point theory and then if the price is going below VWAP and 100 point theory is also uh, telling me to short I'll take a short entry and as nifty goes down you can push the stop loss into the profit zone or use VWAP as the stop loss so if it shorted here and then VWAP here by this time was 8780 so you would have eventually booked profits at 8780 you booked your shorts here at 8780 here VWAP was around 8785 so it exactly came close to that level and then dropped another 20 points and then recovered so uh, right now uh, I don't have VWAP along with the chart so I'm not able to show how good it is uh, so what I'll do is I have intraday data with me 
for futures uh, of all the FNO stocks. So I'll try and soon implement VWAP on uh, bsc2nse.com. So we'll have VWAP uh, data along with the chart. We can display with the chart um, for the intraday dashboard tool. I'll try and incorporate it there. And then probably within the month, I'll uh, have it in place so that we can uh, see how useful it is and try and execute intraday bracket orders either short or long based on it and i think if if uh, it's used properly then it can help with uh, trading specific stocks as well so we'll try and use it for that as well uh, i think but any anyway i think you should start with using it on nifty and bank nifty practice it on nifty and bank nifty first uh, see if that yields you consistent uh, profits then you can slowly move into stocks because stocks will be more challenging and more volatile so the profits and losses can be uh, pretty pretty huge also the margins required are a little bit more so uh, definitely anything you want to try out you should try out uh, with uh, nifty and bank nifty then move on to uh, uh, stocks and again like i said VA, vwap currently i don't have charts to show you properly so this is only an introduction video i'll uh, once once vwap is in, uh, implemented in bsc 2 com, i'll try and uh, you know post another video with the charts with vwap as well as the price and show you that how uh, you know the price behavior or the trader can make use of it uh, by looking at it and i think for now uh, this is a good start for the introduction video and i'll be done with it subscribe to our youtube uh, channel stay in touch and um, check out bsc 2 com for the free training session that we offer for our clients uh, that's it for now thank you bye bye